Hello children today we shall learn about water conservation in our previous video we saw what can happen if something goes wrong with the water cycle the lack of rain leads to drought or too much rain leads to water logging or floods we can't control water cycle as it is a part of weather but at least we can stay prepared for bad time or take some precaution to avoid bad time to come isn't it how first of all we should avoid wastage of water even as children you should be aware of it you know it's a common habit amongst many of us we keep the tap open with running water overflowing the bucket and going into the drain while we are taking the bath brushing our teeth or washing clothes or utensils all this waste a lot of water and hence should be avoided we also see many times taps leaking water so we should turn it off completely or inform the adults to repair it if leakage is still there and please close it even if you haven't left it opened even after using judiciously still a lot of water is required as the population is increasing day by day the rain water supplies water to all the water sources so just like your parents save money for the bad time we have to save or conserve the rain water for a bad time how do we do that as a kid you can help too the rain water can be collected in small buckets it can be used to water plants or wash your bicycle or evenly your father's motorcycle or car wouldn't it be fun when more people are involved and work together more rain water can be saved in many places of india people are now saving rain water by digging ponds lakes people also make big dams to store the rain water but there are few disadvantages of making a dam for storing the water it destroys wildlife displaces people from their homes and the water reservoir loses its depth with time due to accumulation of silt sand etc but still most of the rain water goes wasted huge amount of rain water goes in drains we can't use dirty drain water even at the time of drought this sweet rain water runs freely on dirty ground and even on flooded roads fields thus rain water gets polluted and wasted this immense amount of useful sweet water goes totally wasted this huge amount of water could have been used in daily life even for our drinking so we have to save that water so that it can be used in bad times many people save rain water on clean roofs the rain water accumulates on roof like a small pond but people can't store water on roof as it would make roof floor weak so they just send that water to a tank from roof through a pipe and store it in that tank this rain water can be used in anything even for drinking after little purification when people save and use rain water they don't need to pump out too much water from the underground for their use using a tube well so the underground water is saved and it can be used when there is no rain that is in dry seasons like summer or even at the time of drought now we need to know how we can save huge amount of the sweet rain water for our use let us visit a home which is saving rain water and find out 
the houses which are saving rain water using roof must keep their roof clean the rain falls on the roof generally we send rain water to drains using a pipe from roof but when saving this water people send this water to a small tank instead of drains using that pipe from the roof the rain water gets filtered inside that tank and then the filtered water exits the filter tank through a pipe and goes to the underground tank underground tank should be made waterproof so that water doesn't leak out just fixing a small hand pump to that underground tank we can take out water according to our need and thus water of the tank would be used properly we can even drink the rain water from the tank after making it germ free using easily available safe water disinfectant you must be thinking all houses can't do it as making a rain water filter is tough or expensive no well anyone can make it just look at the simple filter it's just a small water tank or a big plastic drum first make a hole at a side of the drum just near the bottom of the drum and fix a small piece of net like a mosquito net in that hole now fill few portion at the bottom of drum with clean dirt free pebbles on top of it pour clean dirt free gravels and make a layer as thick as the previous layer and at the topmost pour clean dirt free yellow sand in the drum and make this sand layer also same thickness as the other layer but one little thing we need to keep some empty space in the drum above the sand layer so that little water can settle down for a few moments there if we don't keep some empty space water will overflow the drum because water would come into the drum at a very fast rate but it wouldn't seep through the sand layer at that fast rate the approach of saving and using rain water is called rain water harvesting it is very useful to store lots of useful sweet rain water if we can avoid the bad time of water scarcity why we don't we do it think about it love the rain and store the rain water bye bye children